This video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best blitzes in Madden 24. It comes to us out of the dime normal formation. You can find this in the 4-6, multiple D, as well as the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook super effective little formation here what we're going to do with this defense is we're going to turn our auto flip on our auto alignment is going to be on default option defense is going to be on balance and then if you want to the cool part about dime we can utilize some match principles match coverage what i like to do with this defense specifically is i love to come out in the cover three cloud i think that's the best way to run this concept what you're going to see is our our cover three cloud is going to be rolled over here to the left hand side all we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our defense. We're going to crash our defensive line away from that, um, that basically away from this like three sides. You see how there's essentially there's a nose tackle and then there's these two guys here. So we're going to crash basically to the solo guy. So we see here we're going to crash to the right. And then we're just going to blitz. We're going to blitz this slot corner here on the left side. So this is what the blitz looks like. And essentially this is going to create a nice little B gap disengage that oftentimes can turn into an A gap blitz. Now, the cool part about this specific blitz, one of the things I did want to go over with you guys is if you wanted to run this defense on auto or with auto flip off so that you could put the cover three cloud let's say on a specific side, you can still basically do that. The only problem is, as you can see, the the three guys are now on the other side. So what we would need to do in this case is we would just need to blitz from that side that you're wanting to roll the coverage over. So as you can see here, we're able to get that disengage again. And oftentimes this is going to do a really good job of pushing the pocket and really making your opponent uncomfortable. Again, this is a very simple blitz out of the dime normal. Now I'm going to show that you can also run this out of some other plays in the formation as well. So for example, we'll take a look at cover three buzz press. You're just going to pinch your defense blitz this guy off of the left hand side here and then we're going to crash to actually did i forget to turn auto flip let me actually let's just try this just for fun see if this works we'll crash to the right and you see we're still able to get the pressure off the left side so that's another little thing about this one of the other things i did want to note in terms of just the way the defense aligns especially when you come out and cover three plays when you come out and cover three buzz cover three buzz or cover three match that kind of stuff it's going to align a little bit better. So cover three buzz, cover three buzz seam, these couple of plays, they're going to do a better job just in terms of their alignment. Now cover three buzz seam is a little bit more of a match concept to it. But as you can see here, all we need to do, is just blitz this guy on the right. Sometimes this can even come in straight up if you just do it. You don't even have to crash your D-line. So that's another thing that I wanted to just quickly cover. Again, if you take a look at the defense as a whole, you'll see that these slot corners, we just we just really want to have the slot corners in blitzing position on both sides. It makes the defense that much better. So again, we're going to have the blitzing players in position. We're going to crash our line to the right, and now we're going to blitz that L1, which is going to be that slot corner. So again, real simple blitz. As you see there with the super fast D lineman, we're able to get really, really good pressure. Now, what your opponent is going to do, of course, is they're going to block a running back. And I did want to go over this. When they block a running back, this blitz is still good, but it's not great. Sometimes you get that A-gap disengage, disengage, sometimes you don't. So what you can do is let's say they do want to block a running back. You start to notice that. Go ahead and send the right side corner as well. I would then in that case for sure want to either be in cover three cloud or at least prepared to roll my coverage. And what you'll see here oftentimes is this right side corner will loop around that guard and be able to create some pressure for you within this defensive system. Now, another thing that you can do always is audible down to DB blitz, then basically just pinch your D line. You can crash them down as well. And what you'll see is oftentimes you're going to get that crazy pressure. Now, another thing that I did want to also say is let's say you wanted to turn this into a shed defense. What you can do is you can just pinch your D line, crash your D line inside, and then you can actually take this guy on the left hand side and you can go ahead and zone that guy and put him in coverage, put him in whatever coverage you want. So let's say you, we'll put him in a hard flat here and we'll create kind of a roll coverage concept here to the right side. So you see we have a double flat coverage. We're blitzing three people. A lot of times this defense will disengage up the middle, just like a dollar defense, just like a, a 6-1 style defense. I think this is a really good uh, kind of just starter defense, something super simple. And I, I think this little disengage right here is actually really effective. Again, don't be afraid to take this slot corner, let's say, and man him up on the running back, or you can even man the defensive end up there. Um, another really good method. One of the things that I like to do is cross man. So I'll take this um, this this uh, safety on the left-hand side of the formation, 
and I'll actually cross man him onto the tight end, which then will allow me to go ahead and just basically play man to man coverage over here to the right side. And then we're essentially playing kind of a hybrid little cover three look to the left and a to cover two man style uh, to the right with that matching third. And again, we're just getting those nice sheds with the crash crash in and pinch. So super effective little kind of maximum coverage defense from the same look of your pressure. Now, one last thing with the pressure. Again, if you want to crash your line down to try to get the pressure a little bit more up the A-gap, uh, you can do that as well. As you see right here, we either get edge pressure or disengage pressure up the gap. So super, super effective little defense here in the dime normal. I think it's one of the more slept on defenses in the game this year. There's a lot of things you can do with it. It's really good run defense, got a pretty good alignment. And with Lurk Artist being a pretty easy ability to get now, it really opens up the possibility for the defense. Thanks for watching. If you want to get my entire offensive defense view books, all of that stuff to help you become a better Madden player, join the Patreon in the description. Just 10 bucks will get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks available over there. Again, $10, patreon.com slash Cody Bauer. Link is going to be in the description.